Okay, so I've been riding Harleys for quite some time with uh, stock timers with points or a magneto, and uh, you often encounter condensers. And it's hard to tell if these things are good or bad. Uh, you know, it seems like when your bike doesn't want to start, especially with a mag, you kind of go straight for the condenser. Um, just recently on my new shovel head, I was having a really weird situation where the bike would fire up really easy, but it had this weird kind of backfire stutter at kind of middle RPMs. I thought it was maybe a carb situation, but it, I hadn't changed the carb and it ran great prior with that carb. Um, and but i had changed the to a magneto um and basically you know i tried changing the timing and everything it just didn't really work but what was kind of making me think that maybe it was a ignition problem was that i would get on the throttle you know the bike ran great get on the throttle and it would kind of start breaking up but it was like it was backfiring out of the pipes while I was trying to accelerate, which was kind of odd. Um, and it would do it if I just rolled on and kind of held the throttle and let the RPMs come up, it would do it. And it would also do it if I just stabbed the throttle. So it didn't really seem like a jutting issue. Um, and uh, so it turned out I, I replaced, this was the condenser that was in it. Um, I, I replaced it with another, a new condenser and it fixed the problem. Um, and so I'll show you how I tested it and maybe it'll help you in the future. So here we go. So we'll start by testing this good one. Um, and this thing kind of acts like a little bit like a battery. And when you're running on the ohms, it'll send a little bit of voltage in here and store it. And then you can come over to DC, um, you know, 20 volts DC, and you can actually see that it's given a charge and that it's holding a charge. Um, and so basically what we'll do, and you, you ca sometimes you need to discharge these. You can kind of ground them out to like get everything out before you start this because it's just a little tiny bit of voltage that we're looking at. So we'll, we'll put the positive, you know, the red lead on the body. And you can see this start climbing as it's charging it up. It's really slow. You know, we're talking just tiny amounts of energy, but it'll slowly start climbing. So then we'll switch this over to DC volts. And then we'll put the black lead on the body. And this should show some voltage on here. So you've got some volts. And if you hold this for a while, it'll start discharging. You know, you can see it slowly starting to come down. You know, it's kind of just, there you go. It's dropping a little bit. So doing its job. So now let's go to the one that I'm pretty sure is bad. You know, this was the one that was on the bike. Once I replaced this, the bike started running better. So that would sound like it was bad to me. We'll ground it out to discharge it. You know, you can touch on this big ass metal table. And, um, you know, so we'll go uh, like so. And, you know, you can see it's just not really, it's erratic. It's not really doing a whole lot. You know, our numbers are down. Um, and then we'll come over to here and we'll go like this and like this. And it's got a little bit of voltage, but not much. And, and um, you know, I mean, it's a fraction of what was in there. So, um, you know, so that's kind of a, a little test you can do. Um, it seems to work all right.